Welcome back, everybody. We're another episode of the Slide Through Podcast. This is episode 170. We're 30 away from the 200s, man. Uh, it's been a great journey. We got some guests. We'll introduce them in a little bit. But first of all, let's give a shout out to our partnerships. We have Definitely Eaton. Be sure to tap in this definitelyeaton.com. Get all your merch that you want. We have the Fish House out in Watsonville. You guys can stop by, get some great food, get some drinks. Of course, Mar Bay Creations. You dream it, we create it. That's the slogan. That's the logo. Uh, you can stop by on Conglomerate by the Sea to get the um, Slide to Podcast crew next, uh, see the latest episode and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. Um, also, who else are we missing? Uh, fit and fresh. Get your meals right. Get your body right. Get your mind right. It's 2022. There's no more slacking off. Just be sure to do what you need to do. And they're only here to help you ease the process. Like me, myself, I'm not a personal, like, I can't cook for shit. All I do is, like, steam vegetables and chicken, and that gets boring. But they have a whole bunch of shit. They have steak. They have shrimp. They have different, all right there, fit and fresh. Be sure to tap in uh, on yeah. Instagram, fit and fresh, 831. But, yeah, man, with no further ado, introduce yourselves. It's Danny Cash. Hear me out. The Saber Tooth, the O's and Zeros. Shit, yeah. man, that's a real introduction. Mm -hmm. How'd you guys come up with the little slogan? The uh, slogan with Dan, Danny Cash, that's, that's my name, that's my moniker. Uh, Hear Me Out, though, is basically something like my slogan, basically when the song's going to start, basically, before the beat drops. You okay, know, like DJ Fresh? like when Yeah, when you hear Hear Me Out, though, you know it's him. Okay. And then I say the O's and Zeros because a lot of people get my name wrong. They put, they'll put they put O's instead of zeros within my name so i just oh, say the okay. o's and zeros okay and then it'd be like oh like you what, know, what was the other thing you said cyber tooth saber tooth saber tooth that's, that's that's yeah that's my uh producer name that's what i go by okay, artist saber name tooth. yeah that's dope yeah. I would never thought some of people that. call me saber so some people just say saber like you'll hear that a lot okay mm -hmm. cool. oh that sounds dope honestly but where are you guys from where are you guys from Based out of Gonzalez, 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 Gonzalez. Yeah, yeah, Gonzalez. I think you guys are our first artist and producer from Gonzalez and shit. Yeah. So how is it out there? How's the rap game out there? Like out I there. know here we get a lot of local rappers. Mm -hmm. Gonzalez still the eight three one, right? Yeah. Gonzalez, all the way down to King City. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. In South County. So how is it over there? Is there a lot of people rapping? Is it just a there, few? There, there's a there's there's music a, scene going on. Yeah. There's a couple people coming up right now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Casper has been pretty big for a while, okay. and then he's actually been getting like pretty good amount of views and then they have timmy like all the guys in shmoney gang yeah, those yeah, guys yeah. and activated those guys yeah. are a few guys a few of those guys are from gonzalez well yeah yeah i've seen them uh i've seen them grow with the brand you know yeah they're cool like I, I heard their their music before i met them at uh the is it the brick house in salinas yeah, yeah. i met them out there and one they, time they had the little stand with the hats and all that shit like mm -hmm. they're all they're down to earth people you know mm -hmm. so I started seeing more of them as, like, the brand that started going. And to be honest, that shit looks dope as fuck. Yeah, there's yeah. a few other talented people, but they're kind of hidden away, you know, within yeah. Gonzalez. But, you know, okay. this is, this is uh, right now is, like, a really good time for this anybody to, you know, get some spotlight at this time. So, yeah, there's a honestly, lot of music coming out everywhere from just every city, everywhere out there. So, it's like, the rap scene right now, it's, it's getting their way. We're getting the way, bro. So, mm -hmm. you guys think they the one's probably making some noise? I think most definitely this year, yeah. I think we're getting more connected. I think I think definitely, yeah. Okay. I think we're getting more connected and like I don't know if it's just through uh social media or what, but I've seen a lot of different artists in the Bay Area or in with the Monterey Bay Area collaborating like a lot more. Central Coast. Central Coast. <laughs> a lot of people confused with the Bay Area. I know some people really yeah. bothers them. To me I don't care. Like yeah, confusing yeah. Them, yeah. you know, but Still just claimed the 831. So how did you guys meet? Is it like he came to your me, producing yeah, studio? Honestly, we, Someone we, had mentioned him to me. We, we knew each other since like we were kids, honestly, to point. Like my, my oldest sister hung out with his brother. So it's like they, yeah, best they friends best friends while. come over and hang out. So it's like I, as time passed, I, I knew he made music, made beats, but mm -hmm. I, I never reached out like that. So when the time came, we really like networked like that and, and met each other on a one-on-one -on -one base. It, it took off from there and we've been making making music together ever since yeah i had moved away for a while about and i came back about four years ago okay where did you move to um i was living in the bay area i was living in san jose and i okay. lived in stockton for a little around. bit yeah uh i lived in the bay area for on and off for about maybe like six or eight years lived in hayward okay that was really fun it was um, tight yeah I like it. it's like I, I know it's in the middle of nowhere but it's tight it's <laughs> like the heart of the bay like right like right in between san jose and oakland but it's like 
like I, I think it's I, close when to I, everything. When I went, when yeah. I, when I was there, like I actually hung out with people that were from like that area that grew up there and everything. And everybody would see each other at the store, just like how we see each other around, you know, like yeah. in the area. So it was like if I felt like I was like like at a Selena's version of, but within the Bay Area, it was okay. it was a trip within yeah. their own community. So. Yeah, but that's dope when you see that you're yeah. able to move somewhere and make friends and really, you know, start knowing people. Yeah, and shit like that's, that. that's where I really started dope. music. Really at, was in up. the Bay Area. It okay, there's some relationship, you know, and it, and it keeps going. You know, and those connections could go a long way. Yeah. You don't know where yeah. they, these people are going, you know. But you say, "Hey, I met you. You know, we cool. Like, what's up? What you got yeah. going on?" And shit yeah. like that. Yeah, it's fun. I met a lot of random rappers. You know, I met Yuck Mouth. Uh, Drew Down, mm -hmm. uh, Mac Mall, uh, Rappin' Forte. Um, there's a lot of other artists like Stevie Joe. I smoked with Stevie Joe once. That was pretty cool. cool. We promote at shows and stuff. Um, just been doing music for a while. So I used to man I manage slash promote with the, uh, like another artist from the Bay Area named Freddie Benz. Shout out Freddie Benz. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's out from uh, Oakland, and um, he's still doing music. Okay, so he's mm -hmm. a producer and he raps. Yeah, he he mostly raps. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So what got what really got you started with the on the producer side? Like, did you try to make like some music and say, like, yeah, that shit ain't for me, man. I'm just gonna stick to the beats, or were you always just into like? I was always into music, but I didn't know what where I was gonna fit. You know, I tried tried out guitar and that was cool. I had a lot of friends that were playing guitar, but I just. It, wasn't, your it wasn't really my thing, and then uh, like we, I had a computer and I used Audacity to like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so did I, we was just, some point, I was man. just fucking around on Audacity, and this was like 2003, okay. and me and a couple friends like we just started messing around like just making little jokes or like making like chipmunk voices and stuff like that, and ended up making a CD. That was the first album I actually produced was like back then, like. Yeah. We made a, you know joke tracks and just random like parody songs, and we gave it like I printed out you know by hand, wrote down on the on the CDs with the sharpie yeah, like that. hey this is the CD of the century right here that's what <laughs> we called it a CD of the century. I only printed out maybe like ten copies something like it's that something. gave it to some friends. I know at least one person probably still has a copy today. That's dope. Yeah. It'd be cool. You should get your hands on that because yeah. later on down the line, that's some shit like you're going to be like, hey. Like, yeah, I didn't even think about I that wonder what happened time, to you know, this. You like, know? Like, I was like actually tr trying to produce like an album at that time, but that's actually what we did, like what I, what I had done. And now looking back on it after all these years, it's a, it's a trip to see that it's just, just still like I've always done been Someone doing it. I just that. didn't realize it. Yeah, yeah, that's mm -hmm. dope. How about you? What got you into the music scene? Well, music, music's always been my favorite. Like when it comes to entertainment, like besides comedy, mm -hmm. so like I always, always had a thing for music. Like just instrumentals, listening to uh, rap, listening to oldies, listening to just old school music. So I always had that vibe for music. Um, I started making music at a young age, honestly. So as as it progressed, as I elevated and started going up a little more with it and taking it more serious, I started making it just on just going through at a young age, uh, anxiety, you know, um, going through stages of depression and whatnot and just having a different way to put my feelings out there, how, how I was feeling at the moment and, and, and tell that story about it and let people know what, what I'm going through. I don't have no other way to tell you which I'm, what I'm going through. So I was like, I, I started making music just based off of just going through a hard phase growing up, you know, and stuff. I, I feel like his best songs so far that we've recorded are the ones where he's just straight up venting. Like, uh, a lot of times, because it's real, people yeah, really yeah, feel yeah, it, yeah. you know, and it's it's crazy because a lot of, like, rappers say, oh, yeah, I like music, I was doing this. Mm -hmm. But in reality, all, almost all rap music is really, like, yeah, it is. how you're feeling, you and know, it, but yeah. it's, it's, it's dope that you like recognize it. Paint, the picture you paint is, like, basically, like, the image you're trying to show everybody, like, this is my sound, this is me, this is what I'm feeling at this moment on, on this record, you know, this yeah, is yeah. what I'm coming with. No, but, man, that's, that's yeah. dope as fuck. Some people don't like to show that, you know, they feel like it's they vulnerable or Yeah, something, they feel vulnerable. You know? That's why they don't share and they yeah, give all this other story. But shout out to you for cool pointing it out, I man. It's okay to be vulnerable, man. Yeah. We're in the uh, time and place where it's I, okay. You know, A lot of people could relate to it. You don't even know. It'd be sessions when I'll get out the booth and we'll be recording and he'll just tell me, like, fuck, bro, like, 
the fucking song hit me. And it's yeah, like, I got chills. Know, and shit I got like chills. That. Like, what do you mean you got chills? Like, is it cold in the studio or something? Nah, I'm just, just getting the chills. So we man. got the heater on, man. Yeah, it's quick. <laughs> it's like, fuck. I'm like, I, I like that feedback. You know, it makes me feel more inspired to keep going and just keep keep getting that feedback. You know, it motivates me it feels to hear good, that. Feels good no matter know? how small it is. Especially man. coming from a close friend like him. You know, it's like it, it keeps me going because mm. everybody tells me that, and it's like I, I like that because it, it just it's the the reactions I get, it's like it's it's priceless when I see it on people's faces. Oh, it gives yeah. you a good feeling. No, trust me, it was a. It's been a while now, but I used to just walk down and be like, "Hey, Ricky, late nights with Ricky," because I used to do a little late nights with Ricky yeah. show, and then it just motivates you to do it. You know, even yeah. if there's one person watching, people ask you for advice or whatever yeah. it is. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a dope feeling you just be, to have a stranger you be shout out somewhere, you know? and, yeah, and someone sees you, and is it like reassurance like, knowing that somebody's actually yeah, just to recognize. I mean, it. I ran into uh, like in Salinas, I ran into a guy. Um, he recognized Ricky LLC, fucking buys me shots. Right here in Lopez in Monterey, same <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, Some yeah. dude that I didn't even know I follow, he does gardening. He's like, bro, you Ricky LLC, let me buy you a fucking beer. Like, you That's know, hard. it's dope. It's, like, it's a dope feeling just yeah. for strangers to know who you are, you know, yeah. even though you mm-hmm. don't even know what the fuck you're doing. But... A lot of times, uh, the people that recognize you the most are strangers, man. Yeah, yeah. And that's, yeah. that's a real deal. You know? uh, that'll, be, that'll be mostly your, your, your fans and most people who support you, maybe. It's, it's, it's people you don't know. A stranger could be a fan at the end of the day. Someone you might see at the gas station pumping gas, and that's somebody supporting you. And, and you, you tend, you tend song, to see that. Like, oh, yeah. That's me. <laughs> but that's how I feel. Like, I make custom apparel, and I see people with the stickers or the shirts or what yeah. hats I made, and be like, man, I fucking made that shit. Little no do way. you know what you're rocking. I made that shit, you know. No so way. That's yeah, right. that's also another good feeling. But when you make music, people slap. It's like okay, you know, like yeah, that's me right there. Mm-hmm. But let me let me ask you about. You said comedy. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. Like, you were into comedy. Like, you tried to do stand up. Like, nah, I never tried to do stand up. <laughs> I, I just always been into watching comedy. Like, just watching George Lopez growing up. You know, just watching just everybody. All these entertainers. I, I always been into Kevin Hart, for example. I'm a oh. Kevin Hart fan, so it's like I, I, I always been into comedy. It's just watching shit like that. Have you ever tried to go like with your music? Like you see, uh, who was it? Uh, that white dude rapper with the curly hair. He just raps about shit he be doing in the day. Biggie, Iggy, fucking. Um, I believe you're talking. Little about... Dicky or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dickie, Have you yeah. ever thought about making music like that or not? Honestly, nah. No, like, meme not rap, even the just, the fact that you watch no. all these comedy meme shows. Meme rap's guy. just like it's a whole different thing between punchlines and just all of that. I don't know. It's I don't want to be it's, for me. It's different. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's, how do you feel about uh, Kevin Hart making that one song? Like you liking Kevin Hart being a fan, it, it, it and then was, being a, an artist, like it, it was like real, real <laughs> funny and catchy at the same time coming from him, you know. Like I, I seen it and I watched reaction videos to it, so like I, I seen it, you know. It, it was all right. Yeah, but what's your opinion? Should it, <laughs> should that line be crossed or no? To, to be honest, uh, yeah, it could be crossed. That line can be? be crossed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think it should be. I mean, it's always, it's always, you always gotta throw in that, you know, humility, like humility into things yeah yeah no i get it but there's uh like hard like hip-hop heads that yeah, be like, like there's like, a, what the fuck he's a it's a joke like why is he making there, music there's a, you there's know? a rapper out of uh out of brooklyn actually uh uncle murder or something like that he always does a wrap-ups for the end of the year like 2021 2022 it's like he, he's been doing wrap-ups where it's like he's just doing comedy talking about all the stuff you would see on tmz or seeing all these articles and stuff so like how you're saying about Kevin Hart, that's another guy I was looking at that dude because I I seen it and I was like this is this is crazy this guy's getting <laughs> this many views on this just for talking stuff about celebrities. What's talk, going on? You know, yeah. like it's, okay. Mm-hmm. But that's what it is. Uh, mm-hmm. What I was gonna ask, um, Kevin Hart. Well, you guys saw The Rock. He made a song too. So that's another line that's getting crossed. Oh, yeah. Did yeah. you guys hear that? Yeah. What, that what, was, what are your to thoughts me, on that? That was kind of cringy, but yeah, yeah, it was. I he, feel. He, I feel like he, a, he did. He did. He like. He did pretty well, but at the same time, I just couldn't take it serious. I feel like it was a cliche that they had him like working out and what the fuck he he, yeah. what he normally well, does. You well, know? he rapped about what he was true to him, like him, you know, which yeah. was cool. He kept it real, but, he but just, you, I mean, you could I tell he was he was. That I mean, wasn't his thing. It wasn't his uh, thing, but he got coached, like staged. you know what I mean. Like yeah, yeah. the style was just like I was it like Tech Nine or something. Like it was yeah. like yeah, similar. Yeah. It was similar to it, like the way he was rapping. So, uh, he, he, I don't know if he got help writing it, but I'm let's sure see him bust down a freestyle. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's crazy though. So, what's uh, growing up in Gonzales? What's a memory you guys won't forget? Like growing up there. Never I know you guys up. said you guys knew each other or this, of each other, but never really like 
connected. What would you say your best memory was, bro? For me, the best memory in Gonzales was the when they built the skate park. We would help design the skate park. Oh, that's dope. And that was like a cool outlet because for like for a while we didn't have you know anywhere to go. We get we're getting kicked out of our skating. Okay. So I grew up skateboarding. Still kind of do it here and there. Right now I'm just chilling on disability right now. Got an injury. Like, I understand. Yeah. yeah. So but, skateboard? But skate, skating's my thing, yeah. yeah. How mm. about you? I think my best memory, bro, was probably a few few years back around Christmas. There, there's a, a producer out of Gonzalez, uh, Temper Slap. Shout out Temper Slap. Shout out Temper. Uh, he does toy drives and he gives back to the uh, kids uh, less fortunate for the holidays. So it's a it's a toy drive slash uh, concert. And um, at the time, I was I was making music, barely starting out. How I said making music, and uh, he reached out to me and uh, had this list going, and he added me on there. I showed up to the bar. And I, I, I did my say, and uh, since then it's just been like a tradition, basically giving back to the kids and performing. It was, it was my best uh, moment growing up because it's like it was my first show, honestly, too. So it's like I got to experience that in my hometown. You know, people come and see first show in the everybody. Hometown. You know, like it, it was a good experience. No, that's dope. That sounds like a good memory. Imagine your first show and yeah. it's in hometown and people showing love. Yeah, like that that's just hard right there. Like, like not them, everybody though. gets that opportunity. No. People gotta be rapping for a while before they even. Yeah, and then get especially when we like have that. it at, at the venue, at, right there at Carlitos, right there in Gonzales, it's like it's kind of hard to have something like that. You know, you get the law enforcement trying to shut shows down, trying of to course. just just not have nothing going, and it's kind of hard because we're just trying to put our talent out there and at the same time get back to the community. You know. No, I understand. I understand. So that's always been the problem around here. I feel yeah. like. I mean, we're, there's no venues. There and then really, they get there ruined. really isn't. You know, you like either gotta go to San Jose. Ruined. You go like the little venues yeah. they have. They have so many restrictions. Mm. Like I was in an event at the fairgrounds, and it said like it's so much for deposit, which is acceptable. You know, yeah, I'm not it tripping. Makes sense. But then you, you gotta hire their own security if you want to sell liquor. You gotta hire their own fucking bartender. Yeah. And if they're not available, then you can't sell liquor, and then you gotta yeah. shut it down by eleven. <laughs> Like what the fuck? Who the fuck yeah. wants to party yeah. like two eleven? The, but the know? crowds yeah. too. The crowds that come too. Sometimes they don't. You know, we've like I've seen a lot of shows get booked in this area. Even back when I was working with Freddie, like we we're trying to get shows out here. Back you know was like ten, 10 years ago, and you know there was a lot of shows that were getting canceled because of fights, stuff like that. The Jacko was out here. Yeah. You know he's about to do a show. They were here fight broke out they ended up shutting the show down so or like uh some rappers were getting robbed too Shit. stuff like that when they were coming out here yeah. so See, it, well, it was just not... a bad rep like a bad we just like the monterey got a bad monterey or this or central coast got a bad rep kind of like a while back to the bay area scene and for a while it was just quiet out here I mean, I other that. than there the really big, other yeah. than the big there shows really like wasn't. the car show and stuff like that, yeah, like, yeah, you, got, that. you got <laughs> ciphers nowadays. I just seen a, a video. But we on need YouTube. a we need a community to. Well, I think we're seeing more of that. You know, more people mm -hmm. getting together, really collabing yeah. and stuff uh, like yeah. that. Yeah. So seen what's your guys' opinion on? Here. I haven't seen the magazine. Low Pass yet. magazine. I just saw them recently. They're just starting out. It's like uh, underground hip hop okay. stuff like that. Okay. Local stuff or just in general? Local. Nah, I would okay. say local, local yeah. art That's and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But um, what was I going to say? Shit, I hello forgot. Yeah, I've been trying so, to So, I mean, uh, I know, like, a lot of people think, like, Gonzalez, Soledad, and what is it, Greenfield? Greenfield like, people say those are the cities <laughs> right after Salinas. You know, like, yeah. a lot of people say that. Yeah. Do you guys think being from out there and being a rapper and a producer, you guys think you get, like, enough respect, like, for being there? I think I think we do. Yeah, I yeah. think we do get respect, and then like it kind of. Once they peep game, then they, yeah. you know what I mean. I feel like right off the bat, people will always dismiss it until they actually. Until they hear you guys. Yeah, and meet so you they guys take and a look. Like yeah. That. How like do you guys think like you guys have done a lot of outreaching, or you think a lot of people are like flowing your way? Like to, to be honest, I feel like I, I have reached out and I have worked with a lot of artists, a lot of people, and uh, I feel now I have that around respect i would say the connection where they reach back now to me you know and it's okay. like no, I, got that love yeah. I got that love we're getting the okay. love we need i reach out every day like yeah. i reach out to more than like one person every day and try to network with a bunch of different people and i know most of them are going to say no but you know you one still get those couple one person's gonna say yeah, gonna yeah. yeah. but see that that's the crazy part a lot of people don't understand so many people be afraid to be like to get a no but 
It's like if you get you're a no, get... you end up in the same situation you were in. You're not yeah. losing nothing. Exactly. But if you get a yes, then you got a lot to gain. The you people know, like, that have won the most have lost the most too because yeah. they probably lost. They've lost way more times than they've won, most likely. Like she's like they say, people get their game from getting rejected, man. Yeah, yeah. you feel me? Yeah, yeah. getting yeah. rejected changes That's you. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, man, that's just crazy, man. So, uh, yeah. you guys said earlier off camera that you guys were having like some projects coming up. You guys want to talk about that? Yeah, yeah, we we got this yeah. project, but uh, it's gonna drop in February, mid February. It's mm -hmm. called a uh, Forever Blessed. Do you yeah. have a date on February? Uh. So so mid I, means like the 15th, right? I would say around there. Yeah, usually when I put out my projects, I put out my projects the 1st or the 15th, man. Yeah, I think you guys should do, do it on the 15th, the very 15th. Yeah, but if, mm -hmm. if it doesn't go right with uploading it everywhere on all platforms, it's, it's a little pushback maybe. Yeah, you know? we had to push okay. back the album. There was some stuff that didn't get cleared that we didn't. Okay. Are you guys finished with the project or are you still working on them? Nah, it's, that one's been, done. That it's been, been done. done. You guys should submit it. November. You guys should really in for the 15th. I'm yeah, just saying that because it's my birthday, so that'd be dope. Ah, that'd be dope. <laughs> for real Definitely. shit dang but um so you want to talk more about the project you said it was two of them right yeah we got yeah. that project and then i have a project with him produced all yeah. all by him called chow time we got all that my beats, project a lot of them are freestyles and stuff like that yeah. okay. just um, on that on that one i got features from uh local artists actually i got kid cali on there i got jc on there um that's just basically it and all the beats are produced by him everything's uh recorded by him and engineered by him we okay. have about mm -hmm. 12, 12, 15 songs about on that project as That's well. That's dope. So is this like your debut? Like this is the first part you do everything in it? Yeah. This okay. is my first one where I've actually produced someone's like full, full album. Yeah. yeah. And then mixed it all the way through, stuff like that. That's dope. So yeah, do you guys have like a recording studio? Is it like in the garage? Like you guys are working on it? And there's no shame on it. When we used to write, we put like the little milk cartons on the wall and shit uh, like that. Yeah, yeah. No, no, we we, we first studio. started out, we tried to make our own little booth. Yeah, of course. Uh, but that was with, uh, for, it was wherever we were because yeah. I was working at a smoke shop so we would use the back of the smoke yeah, shop. I would, oh, I would pull but up the, to the smoke that's shop. That's what you call a hustle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pull up while he's that's working, a hustle. While he's working and takes equipment. PVC pipe, had to like, uh, made a frame and then i then i used like a curtain around it did some um what is it the moving blankets and then i put on the top the 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 foam pad yeah, yeah it's yeah. real easy we like took you it guys can do this at home yeah. 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 Hey, we Say, took ours out of an old mattress yeah. so wow. that 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 was working for us for a minute and then i got lucky like there was some empty space right there my at my sweater's house yeah. And so I out. yeah, you got me. Yeah, <laughs> it's for my dreams. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> they got me. So straight up, like what? This was like a year and a half ago, like around August. Yeah, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna buy a shed. Fuck it. I'm gonna yeah. put it right here. Like I'll just get a cool size space shed and I'll turn it into a studio. That sh there was a little hill and all kinds of weeds and stuff. I cleared it out, flattened it out, and then I built the shed. And then come like around. February was like when I was actually done like with I'm it. I'm ready. Like it or, was all or just the it built was, or like it everything built. in it. It was built. Okay, I did okay. it all myself. Yeah, built it and then I put a little porch stuff like that. It's one big room, but I divide it into three. One's a little storage, and then the other one's like a vocal booth. Okay, so you really did like built something. Then. Yeah, like built, I just I, I haven't put up the drywall, but everything's framed out stuff Shit. like that you yeah so i have the, I have the <laughs> vocal booth set up it's separate from the from where i'm mixing and stuff like of that course, and i'm yeah. performing like or where i write my music so you're really investing in your craft and this is something you really want to yeah, do yeah i really because i know a lot it. of people want to pay like thousands of dollars for a feature yeah. but yeah you can invest that money in yourself and really start putting like quality music yeah up, for, you know? the, for the longest i was fighting against trying to get like hardware hardware like straight up big mixing board stuff like that yeah I'm like nowadays no, you don't even need it yeah, you just you need a I mean? fucking uh for, what do you call those not a desktop they, nah, they're just, just the controllers just a screen yeah. i don't know there's oh, another they, yeah, word for yeah, it the screen ones yeah. those are badass huh? A monitor. There yeah, you go. All have, you need is a fucking the, monitor. They have the look down monitors where you touch and it's just yeah, the whole thing. But not even that, right just there. a TV. Like you make that your monitor. And yeah. I've seen it because I've been to, uh, shout out to Monitor, is it Monterey Studios? Recording Studios. Monterey Recording Studios. Monterey Recording Studios. Mm -hmm. And it's like, he has the mixing boards, but my boy, Mr. Active and Attractive, there, he's doing just with the mouse on the screen. 
So yeah. it's like you don't really need those giant mixing boards But he boards also anymore. has he also has all the hardware to the right. Yeah, that's too. what I'm saying. He still yeah, has that, it. Yeah, that that's what I'm trying to invest in is more of that stuff, yeah, just okay. more the traditional hardware that they use. I mean, um, I mean, it's they I do don't have know that they scene. do have programs that will uh, like are equivalent mimic it, but they cost about the same anyways. Oh, okay. okay. So, well, I mean, I don't know which way that moving but mm-hmm. i mean if it's moving more like into the digital of, size yeah a lot of it'd be a, a lot of the digital people right now that. are like you know they're they're still giving paying homage to like the, the old analog hardware mm-hmm. and they're incorporating it or doing like hybrid versions of like studios where it's analog and digital together okay that's a trip yeah See, that's dope Mm-hmm. So everything was recorded at the studio you built. Yeah, it was actually. Yeah, it was it, all sessions were right there in, in that studio. It's a uh, called Patriot Studio. Yeah, we Patriot Studio. Yeah, like the Patriots or like just no, Patriot? not not the not the oh, team. Okay, okay, like okay, Patriot. Okay. Like I love my country. Quick, yeah. quick, quick question. I love what uh, my country stands are for. Are Niners going to the Super Bowl? I think Niners are. Yeah. I mean, are they gonna win the Super Bowl? My bad. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think so. I hope they do. Fuck. I don't I'm think they a- are. I the hope they don't. Playing, the no, no, playing. no, I'm not a hater. I'm not a hater. Yeah, but just Honestly, playing, it'd be nice to see the Cali team. Like, just yeah, even yeah. if it's the Niners. I'm a Raider fan. Even if it's the Niners, like, it's good to bring it home. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's the only reason why I would say that. I mean, I grew up a Raiders fan, but I I gave up on sports. Okay. That's just me, my personal thing. Yeah, I bring just... him back into the sports. <laughs> 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 I watch a game. That's uh, crazy. Yeah, but I grew up going to Raiders games, the shit like that. Hanging out in the black hole. I still do. Yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> right there, the so um, that's the first project. What's the second project? The second project we got, uh, well, we got the Forever Blessed. We we got that one. The Forever Blessed. That's the first one. That's the first and then one. The other then one's the, the one me and him. It's called Chow Time. Yeah. Okay, so the Chow Time is YouTube. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's. And just, the Forever I mean, Blessed is just a mixture. Is yeah. Just me and uh, I got features from as far as Cali Bear. I got uh, Jazzy J out of Hollister. I got mm-hmm. AP. I AP. got Tito Lokes. Um, I got Miggy on there. Shout out Miggy. Shout out to Miggy. I got Miggy oh, yeah. on there. Miggy came um, in pretty hard on that song. Yeah, there's a, there's a few talent on that project, bro. I got a lot of different production on there and shit. And that, that, that's just cool, bro. That's just dropping soon. Okay. So that's a different date than the other one. Yeah, they're pretty much going to drop maybe in the same month, depending how how far it takes to go through the process and all that getting shit clear. But honestly, okay. we have a lot it, of stuff it, recorded it's, still. It, it's there. Like, Which is it's better mm-hmm. to have more than less. Yeah, you know? on top on top of those two projects, we have another about forty something songs Bad. just chilling. Okay, they either need nice. verses, stuff like that. If Doing anybody's trying to get on some songs, give out give out your plugins real quick, man, so people know where to reach you. Uh, at like, Sabertooth, the O's are zeros. The O's are zeros. You can mm-hmm. find me at uh, official Danny Cash, all spelled together. Mm-hmm. Lower official case. Danny Cash. Official Danny Cash. Perfect, man. Yeah, if you look up Sabretooth on, if you just Google it with zeros, S A S A B E R T zero zero F, you'll you go, see me on every Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, be, like so random it's all, ass it's things. It's all interconnected. Then. Yeah. Okay, that's hard. That's yeah, dope. I try to have my SEO set up well. You know, search. Okay, so search you guys said you engine. gotta wait for it to clear it. So do you guys do it manually, or do you guys pay? I know they pay a membership, or you just pay it in this that entity distributes it into like well, spotify it's, it's, iTunes. Like, it's it's one where we like we pay but we pay through the royalties we just use the free version right now because mm. we're we're like let's just drop these on here and see how much it actually gives back before we actually commit to another just like an actual distribution that's like cool. you need a distro kit or there, something because we we, we found one up, called amuse and like i straight up it was an app like i saw it in the app store and i was like what what is this you can distribute your music through here. You get all your like almost. You get all your multi royalties back, except like I think they keep like fifteen percent or something like that. That's dope. But why not keep a hundred percent? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's all yeah, money. It's, man. It's, that's no the goal. Money that's the goal is just get a hundred percent royalties. That's well, yeah. that's why we're looking into NFTs and stuff like that. Yeah, that's, okay. the, that's, that's another that's thing. Because that's going where on right now, the NFTs. Yeah. That's yeah. where you can actually get royalties straight from the people, like you straight from your fans, like. Uh, they're the ones straight investing into you yeah, and like yeah, that's dope. you're pretty I've much creating that. like a stock of yourself yeah shit, or like shit. yeah whoever yeah. has the first one man they're gonna be exactly. billionaires one day yeah. Yeah. exactly okay. like we're gonna be releasing uh <laughs> nfts where they'll get like exclusive rights to certain things or maybe like certain um certain right uh, like certain certain rights to like footage 
to the shows or like just special recordings of certain songs or just exclusive songs that aren't like, just give them something right yeah for exactly and shit. that's mm-hmm. dope um do you have any shows lined up right now at the moment uh we're trying to get the show coming up in uh april they got a oh barbecue yeah we're kick trying to do a smoked out okay. barbecue we're trying to get on okay, that okay. roster no, uh, i know we messaged the guy as well we haven't gone back as far as artist wise yeah, yeah but uh we're potentially gonna have a booth there hopefully we do I'm trying to yeah, make it. it my, was, is, my fiance is a. Uh, she's expecting. We're both expecting. So. Um, oh shit. We have mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. So you're same. engaged. Like it's around that yeah, time, engaged, man. Yeah. Well, congratulations Thank on you. that. Appreciate yeah. that. Shit. Yeah, and, so uh, they're due around that time. So she's due that's around why that they time, don't want to. So come. it's like I don't. I don't. Shit, think I can you don't want to be gone while he's there. Yeah. No, I understand. I want to be there and. It's my second newborn. It's a boy. We're having a boy. Shit, you happy about that? I am, bro. Actually, yeah. That's fucking That's dope. What What was your first? My first was a boy as well. Oh shit! Yeah, Daniel, Daniel Alexander. Mm-hmm. Daniel Alexander. Yeah. And what you gonna name the second one? Second Junior? one? Nah. <laughs> Daniel Alexander second. Uh, Elijah. <laughs> Elijah. Elijah. Yeah. Okay. Elijah. Dope name. Damn the third. <laughs> but the smoke out is something you're looking into. Yeah, uh, I got potentially. That. And then right now too, uh, the catalyst. I don't okay. know if you're familiar with Santa Cruz. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. Yeah. Santa Cruz right there. They always have uh, shows right there. I've oh, done the shows Catalyst. right there in the Shout past. Shout out Earl at the Catalyst. Yeah, I, I've been saying they got upcoming shows, so I'm trying to get something lined up and get on there, you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. just give yourself... You know, it's it's yeah. the same thing you invest in yourself. You pay for a spot. Yeah. People might not know you, but some... Like, you might get tickets a fan. Tickets, too. Sometimes when you're selling those tickets, people might not know you, but... That's that's the majority thing you'll receive back, you know. Once they get the ticket, though, it's like they're gonna see what they paid for. So it's like, you exactly. know, that's the that's what I look forward to, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, hell yeah. Them, you know? I mean, I don't know if you guys are familiar with like Mexican like rap, but Calle 13 said when you reach one, you reach you might reach ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, you feel exactly. me? And that's how it goes. You don't know who's gonna like your music, uh-huh. and that person that likes it and slaps it. Is gonna trickle gonna down like someone. He else. might show someone else that might fuck with it, you know. Exactly. But shit, man. Um, quick question. Uh, if you guys, as you guys grow and you develop as artists and producers, as you get bigger, people notice you guys. Are you guys? What would be the move? Like move or to stay here? To be honest, uh, I'd probably look into like investing for some property, some land. I would sometime down the road. I would. Uh, as far okay, as like, well, hold on. Let me rephrase it. Yes, that's a great plan. Yeah. We're on that, but I mean more like artist-wise. You know how a lot of people move to L.A. Yeah. or San Francisco or Sacramento to, to be more like in the rap scene. Mm. Like, is that some a move you guys will make or do you guys will stay local? To be honest, I'm, I'm familiar with L.A. surroundings. Like, I like the area out there, you know, like okay. just the vibe, the environment out there, the studios I've been to out there. So I, I would probably maybe get some somewhere out there in L.A., a little, a little condo maybe out there or something, okay. you know? Like back to how I was saying investing, that's that's something I would look into down the way if I was to take off and continue my rap. I, I would go down the way, down out there. Yeah, we have to get closer. No, that's dope. Yeah, that's yeah, dope. Yeah. No, I understand. I understand. <laughs> well, you guys said NFTs. You probably you guys are probably looking into stocks and all this shit, which is smart. You know, everybody's getting everybody's into it. Everybody's right scared because crypto took a dip. Uh-huh. But that's that's part of the uh, the monopoly. You gotta be part of the huddle game. You know, it goes up and down, Hoddle. up and down. That's yeah, part yeah. of the market. You know, and a lot of people will get scared. They don't understand it. But the rich folks it's are just waiting. When that's when they down. buy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When you, you see me? you see them buy when it goes down. You, that's that's yeah. when you're supposed to invest. Man. Exactly. That's so crazy. I don't get scared when that shit goes down. If anything, I'm like, it's on sale. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. It's on sale. <laughs> How about you? You would stay or you would move? Um, like as you let's say you becoming a well known producer, people starting to fuck with you, like, and maybe you think if I move here, maybe I could get a little more shine, or would you stay local here and deal with local people and bring main artists to like your studio? I would. I would, depending on where my family is, mm-hmm. that's where I'm gonna do. Okay. Like I'm more centered towards like building my kids like foundation. So if they have more support here. Then I'm gonna stay here, okay. and bring artists to me or me go to them. I'll just travel shit like that, but still have my, you know, my family set wherever. Stability. Yeah, Do you I have just any want kids? my family to be stable. Like it, everything else can come after. Okay. That's shit. A lot of people think different. I'm yeah. trying to be stable then the family. Yeah. Nah, get right Most with God. That, yeah. That's me though. That's yeah. that's just me. Cause yeah. think about it. Like, if I don't feel like I'm stable, like, why would I bring a kid into the world? But right, right. If I don't feel like I'm stable, then how do I expect everybody else to be stable? Yeah, you know? yeah. But it really depends. Like I've been put like in a in a father figure household 
fucking type of person in the back of the family. So I see things in a different perspective. Yeah. So my priority is like, okay, we need to be straight. And then comes the No, family, yeah, the, you know? that, yeah, that yeah. added stress is, is definitely like, uh, it's there, but you just, I put all my faith in God and that's it, bro. Okay. Like, that takes Christian away. Christian or you're Catholic or? I grew up Catholic and I realized that the Catholic faith ain't too. Too friendly? Too friendly. <laughs> you know, they, they do try to shame you and stuff like that. But the main thing is that, that I learned was like, we're, God said we're not supposed to be praising idols or anything like that. And okay. Catholics idolize saints yeah. and they idolize the, the Virgin Mary. So they're not like idolizing God, they're idolizing other people. So that that's one thing that really threw me off. Like, and when I when I started opening my eyes to that, I I almost question. I started questioning the the sign of the cross and everything. But okay. I mean, honestly, I just try to interpret it for what I like read it, and of just course. I pray well, before I pray before I read like it or study it. You know, do my Bible studies stuff like that. Um, Bryson Gray on YouTube. He's he's a rapper. And he's been reading the Bible out, a certain version, the Tanakh version. He's been reading it out like every day, a few chapters here and there. And he does quizzes on it and stuff like that. So that That's Bible dope. study's been pretty, pretty so cool. pretty hands-on and shit. Yeah. That's dope. It's well, that brings the, me to the next question. Pretty, like, what's something you question? So you told us what you question. What's something you question? <laughs> something I question. It could be anything. It could be the government. Be, it could be, be honest, us. Be it could be, you, it could say, be live. I always have to say the administration, bro, as far as, like, the court, the court justice is on that. Okay. As far as, like, the penal codes, like, for gun laws, for example, is when you, when you get these gun enhancements or, like, for uh, crimes and stuff, like gang enhancements, like, you, you receive these sentences, and what questions me is, like, they... they sentence you to the time you're receiving for whatever you commit but on top of that you get a couple additional years because it's an enhancement so it's like my question about it what makes me question is like how many more enhancements are they going to keep creating because it's like they just keep cycling the <laughs> it's like rules design it okay, just okay. Locked up. it's not me trying to cycle you know, the law but the I mean they're trying up. to you know push away from people joining uh, but they the make gang, a lot of money off that and why not talk about that there was a bust in Selena so yeah yeah really, they went live they've never gone as far as i know they've never gone live and produce evidence and shit like that but she's like it was there was like an investigation and they found so much shit they're so corrupt like, yeah huh there's a lot of corruption yeah yeah <laughs> like, but, it just makes me wonder like all, all these enhancements you receive and it's like uh, it's double what you're what you're doing your time for you know and it's like they they say that uh the governor passed a law a while back, and he he declared to something to sign this, and he was gonna drop enhancements. But it's like that law passed already, which was last year, and we haven't seen anything. You Nothing's know, been, well, I a lot of times like laws pass, but then it yeah, says it doesn't it take effect till the following, following, yeah, following, yeah, following, following, which yeah, sucks, yeah, you know. Yeah. But I mean, January it's like first, uh, June first. some rappers say I forgot who it is, but he said like. My uncle went to jail for something that this nigga's making the money out of. You yeah. know, talk about the weed laws. Like yeah. back okay. in the day, you got yeah. locked up for oh weed, but gosh. now they're making a profit out of it. You know? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. work it's in the fucking, weed industry. Which is nuts, been doing man. a couple it's, years. It's insane. But, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a progressive world. You know, yeah. we're moving forward. A lot of uh, mindsets are changing. And the yeah. way I see it is, like, as younger people get into positions of power, that's how the regulations start to change. Yeah. But as long as we have those old folks that think old ways, then it's like, fuck, we're all fucked. Yeah. You know? I think people right. just need to try to be open. Yeah, you do. You know what yeah. I mean? It's just hard to to give up certain things you've thought your whole life. You know, if you always thought weed was bad just because you saw this movie that d demonized weed, but it was paid by people that were trying to um, make their own patents for certain chemicals because you couldn't patent a plant. So that's why they started hating on weed was like they couldn't patent that shit to make oils and chemicals and stuff like that. Or and it's, for, it's like, still a war, different, man. A little, yeah. a little off topic, what I'm going to say, but it's kind of like, like... We like to you, get off topic. Go ahead, go so ahead. Like, hey. Kind of, kind of like what you said. Like, when you, when you eat somewhere, it's like basically you. you When you eat somewhere, it's like you kind of eat what you're used to buying. So you go somewhere and you eat something, the same thing. And when you try something different, it's like, why aren't you trying something different? You're used to ordering the same thing. You know what I mean? 
So it's like a lot of people tend to like I don't know tend Stick to do to that. What they know. Don't be a picky eater. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, that, that's me. <laughs> fucking uh, wherever I go, if I don't know the place, I eat French toast. Like, like, like you go with the, you know, with the red, like you what you trust. Steak, I like, like my, right? I, I like medium rare. Okay, see, yeah. you know what I mean, growing up yeah, in my man. household, my mom would tell us, "Oh, I don't like it bloody, or you gotta eat it well cooked." I started going to places as I got older, and it's like, mom's not here. I only need something <laughs> different, you know what I mean? Oh, Everybody judging you. Why is your shit well done? Yeah, like, yeah, well done. Like, why I is your shit fully cooked? It's different. Uh, <laughs> if it ain't got no blood, ain't got no flavor, right. man. But that changes, because it, it, it's real, though. You know, like, a lot of us get sheltered, like, so much that yeah. when you experience the real world, then you start questioning mm-hmm. everything. You yeah, know? It, takes, like, it has to take something to, like, you have to be taken out of that world to really see it. It really is like I just uh, I took a youngster under my wing for a little bit till he decided to head out whatever he wanted. But he started questioning everything because I'm really open minded. I'm a spiritual person. That's like, awesome. Yeah. You know, like I believe in karma. Like there's no mm-hmm. like we were talking earlier. There's no bad or good person. Like exactly. if you catch someone in a good mood, he'll be the most wonderful person ever. Yeah, right? but if you catch him in a bad mood, of course he's gonna be addicted. Yeah. yeah. You know, but he's he's a Christian and he started questioning like it's not what my pastor told me. It's not black and white. I'm like, dude, like. It's I, not, I can't help you there, you know, but yeah. I'm just telling you what I see. You ask me for advice, I'm just telling you my point of view. Mm-hmm. It doesn't it doesn't mean it's right, but I'm just telling you the way I live and I fucking live happy, dude. Like the the, the house could be burning, but fuck, there's something positive out of the house that, being burnt. You that's know? one thing I see that yeah. faith, no matter what faith it is, into something like takes away a lot of fear. Well, I mean, as long people. as you believe in something, it gives you hope. You know, yeah, regardless of what yeah, it is. Yeah. You yeah. know, but there's atheists that believe like fucking you just you're born and you die. You know, then that sucks for them. Yeah, <laughs> I don't fucking know. I met a couple of those people. They're not too happy. That's what I'm saying. Like they're not happy people. So <laughs> you guys being from Gonzalez, growing up as a, like, how often did you guys come out here to like Monterey? Monterey, probably like maybe maybe if I was going towards uh, going towards Santa Cruz, going to Capitola, going out Sea Cliff Beach, passing through here maybe. Uh, Going to a war, for example, coming out here, that's the only time I'll probably come out here a lot. Or if I'm traveling, going towards the Bay Area, I'll, I'll pass through here on my way home. So it's okay. like, Yeah, I go to the wharf, the skate park, Dennis and Menace. I remember um, Dennis and Menace. Yeah. Till they made it safe. Casa Verde <laughs> to party. Yeah, yeah, the and, beach. And the party yeah, yeah, and, yeah, I remember that. And that's pretty much... Oh, and then we used to come out here at Target and stuff like that. Or Walmart. Come out here at Walmart. It's oh, more quiet. So it's crazy Walmart how so many ghetto. people travel for Walmart. Like, yeah. it's nuts. I used to travel out here for the dispensary. I come out here out for there, Trader Joe's. Joe's. Out there, we don't have dispensaries. In Salinas, they didn't have East of Oh, yeah. Time, and Bam. So. Right here at the Seaside and, 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 and shit. Yeah, oh, Dairy Oaks. Oaks. Yeah, yeah. All that. You know. But when that shit opened, I, that thing was packed, like, every day. Yeah. Like, oh, all hours, you know? Yeah. Shit, shit a lot of it was more like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to the dispensary locally. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like fuck, <laughs> even though I, the wee man got it for the low, but yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. you know. The wee man always got it for the low. <laughs> <laughs> Tax free, man. It ain't yeah. it ain't twenty nine thirty eight. It's <laughs> tw- it's twenty. It's, it's not a big of a selection, <laughs> but you still get a good deal. That's real. Yeah. That's real. That's that's. So, what's some artists you guys uh, like or look up to or like things like that? Honest, I, I listen to a lot of different artists, bro. Like, my playlist is set to where it's like, whatever the next song comes on after I look up a song, whatever, the next song that pops up in the suggestions or whatever I like, then I didn't listen to it yet, but then I listen to it later. That's basically how I'll probably continue listening to if, if I'm feeling the music, you know? I'm not okay. really picky when it comes to, like, music in the car. But like, is there an artist, like, you're having a good day and I'm, I'm slapping this guy? I probably just... Or an artist it. you slap every day. Let's just say that. Let's see. Uh, I probably have to say genre-wise. If I probably have to go into my, to, like, old school. I'll film, like, an old school vibe. Listen to okay. some mm-hmm. Mary Jane girls, some oldies, you know what I mean? Something okay. like that. So that's your go-to music. That's, that's mm-hmm. my go-to music, yeah. Something to mellow me out, you know? Okay, how about you? I get pumped off Bryson Gray and then this other guy named Anomaly with the zero. Mm-hmm. Another zero. Yeah, he does a zero <laughs> too. And th- them two, they're they're doing pretty good. And then I, Larry June, I always get pumped off Larry June. He Larry gets June got, you know, music. got yeah. some positive shit. Yeah, he be talking about like you know, every day, everyday life shit. Gets you, you know, motivated, that. you know. Yeah. That no, gets me motivated. That. Gets me want to get up, you know. Cook something healthy. Go, <laughs> you know what go I mean? Go drink some Take orange juice. <laughs> drink some water real quick. Oh, that's crazy. 
<laughs> no, but talk about getting up. What what gets you guys up at, uh, like, in the morning? Like, what makes you say, like, yeah, nigga, like, it's going to be a good day. I'm going to be out here. Just waking like, I need up to with get that this. positive attitude, just knowing it's another day, you know, let's, let's get this day going, you know, wake up with a strong positive attitude, just keep going upon the day, you know, wake up knowing that, you know, today's another day, be thankful, I'm here, and just yeah. keep, keep going, whether I'm going to go to the studio, whether I'm going to go to hit the work, you know what I mean? Like, I yeah. just wake up every day trying to start the day positive, you know? Yeah, I try to start my morning thankful too. Um, Do you guys make your beds? I be used, honest, be I honest, to, be honest. I I started doing that, and then my wife was getting annoyed because the bed was so tucked in. Like, cause I get up earlier than her, you know, maybe an hour she's, or two. Before. She's sleeping, so she's and you tucked her in? in. Yeah, like I'm all tucking, <laughs> like just making my my side of the bed, she's in the and bed she's like, all, like, like trying to turn over. Like, what are you doing? I'm still <laughs> yeah. sleeping. Yeah, but I I just try to be thankful. Like right right when I get up, you know, I. Uh, back in November, I had a seizure like I'm sorry around the that. time when I wake up, like, okay. and I still don't know what the fuck what caused it, what caused it or what. But it, the seizure was so bad that I broke my back. Oh shit! Like I, my ver the one of the vertebrae in the middle is like the T five. Yeah. That got compressed by the other two, and like it just fractured like right in the middle. That's to show you how strong the body is, man. It cracked your yeah, fucking bones. Yeah, I was all fucking. <laughs> One more shit, like, that's how my chick woke up she heard me like gurgling turn me to my side like if she wasn't there i don't even know if i'd be here that's so crazy. like literally like when i wake up like that was around the time when i wake up in the morning and like when i came to i just see emts in my room i'm like who the fuck are you like and what they're are you like doing, dude man? you just had a seizure like that's crazy man i'm sorry to I, hear that man so, yeah, hope everything's a, better yeah i honestly ever since then i've been fine so yeah, I really, it was I'm random really, as fuck yeah. Like okay. I really don't. It's it was it was a curse and a blessing. Gave me more time to work on music, but you know, like money wise, it's not not, not the too, greatest. Position. Not the greatest. No. You gonna make some money? Like, you just keep bringing this artist into that studio, man. Yeah, that's why I keep telling him. You know, it, you got to branch I out. To get the yeah, you know, you're in the hospital, and then like I was just with you the day before, so like to hear some news like that, it's like wow, man. Fuck the album's not getting done. Fuck. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I just get out of here. Don't worry, he is. Like, I got recover, everything saved. When you when you come home, you know you're gonna be resting. Just mix all the songs. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you mix those songs. Uh, so going back to you, do you make your bed in the morning? I make my bed every day. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, I don't do that. Man. I do. I'm I feel not bad to lie. say that, Program. but I don't. Uh, you program to do it? I just, it I just, I just used to waking up early, bro, and just, just starting a day like that. You know, a cup of, a cup of coffee, you know, and just starting my day. You know, okay, so very like casual. Bed, shit. Yeah, I the bed has to be I'm, made. Yeah. If the bed's not made, it's like, fuck. It's like, what is, what are you doing with your life? It really makes a difference. If the bed ain't made, what are you doing with your life? People get up in the morning, they don't brush their teeth. I'm like, damn, you know, they didn't make their bed. <laughs> you know? I tripped out how much that made a difference on making your bed. Yeah. Cause you come back and you're like you come back to your room and you're just like, okay, that's like my bed looks nice. Yeah, 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 it's shit. I ain't gonna lie, I just fucking it is what it is. It like, is. Fuck, I'm going to sleep. It happens. <laughs> though. It happens. Uh, uh, my wife, she's been she's been getting she kind of doing, doing it. You know, you feel me? But yeah. me personally, it's like uh, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it it's gonna get it's gonna go back the way it was, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eventually. I should really start that as early. <laughs> yeah man that's crazy but that's the one thing i noticed that i saw um i was looking up like especially in the beginning of uh the pandemic when everything was shut down it's just like i was like looking like how to succeed you know like okay yeah motivational at successful speakers, people like that, yeah. and like who are the richest people what do they do how do they live like what do they how do they think you yeah. know and all of them had the same thing where it was they that was one of the main things is they make their bed in the morning and it was like an easy and thing. they get up early in the morning yeah that's what they always say yeah they get up before the stock market opens that's i mean what they it open is. at i think six 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 stock market opens at six here because i think it's in it's three hours later it opens at nine six, in new right? york six huh I didn't know yeah that. so that now you guys know crazy. it starts at six if you guys want to get yeah, early bird the pre-market i think it's five thirty special yeah yeah. yeah, so I'd be up at five, yeah. go hit the gym and shit. That's, so that's why I don't make my bed. My wife's still sleeping. See, but you're in the I don't gym. tuck her in like so you. What, do. <laughs> Can't miss leg day. <laughs> Can't miss leg day. Nah, you look funny, man. <laughs> but I mean, that's something. Uh, I used to go in the afternoons, but I'm getting lazy. Like, you yeah. gotta know yourself. You know, if you're doing something, if you're doing music, you gotta know when you're the most creative. Is it yeah. 
after you get off work or is it before you go to work mm -hmm. or do you need to do something to get in the mood, you know? For me, it's like I'm a morning person. I'll be up all day drinking Red Bulls, but yeah, yesterday yeah, I had yeah. a bad it's, crash. He likes studio sessions in the morning. A lot yeah. of times I'm only available at night. But he, so like he I, likes, gotta, I gotta get used to the night like, session. Yeah. You know? I'm a morning person too, like how you're saying. I, I just get it out the way and that's it, you know? And then it's like in the nighttime, I get used to it because it's later in the night and it's like maybe my energy died out or maybe, you know? Like, and so you're fucking up with my sleep schedule. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy though. Uh, but I mean, shout out to you guys for making your beds. Like for reals, for reals. Uh, so we're, we're almost out of time. So let's ask this question. Like, what do you guys feel about? You're vaccinated. You're not vaccinated. No, Sorry I'm not to put you out there. Not fully vaccinated. Uh, okay, fully. <laughs> I'm not vaccinated either. Just you know, to coexist. But Fox News was on the news saying that studies came out saying that fucking uh, people that are vaccinated got COVID more than people that were not. Like, yeah. As far as the newer var variants, yeah. you know. So it's like they say, like if you whatever doesn't kill you, make you stronger, you know. So you build an immunity. But what are your thoughts on that? Like, as far as the you feel betrayed, he... I feel betrayed. <laughs> honestly, like I, I just wanted everything to be over with. You know, I thought they said, okay, you get these shots and you don't got to wear a mask. You don't, you don't have to, you know, succumb to all this bullshit. And literally, that was a farce like I feel lied to I, yeah i, I feel just, lied I to feel they said like, like within eight weeks that shit just loses all its power like like all what, the brands like, too behind and it. they're saying that people that beat covid without being vaccinated are 27 times stronger immunities than people that actually like got yeah, the vaccine they the full disease yeah exactly yeah. like the vaccine all it is is like they take off whatever kills you and give it to you just yeah. have a chicken pox party fuck <laughs> covid party on oh, february 25th fuck <laughs> <laughs> no no no, no. But a that's, lot of people that's, during that's the wait, it's not as dangerous as it was that's the thing it's like okay the the we're on like what like the third or fourth variant already and the variant that we're on right now is 91% less uh, dangerous than the one that was before. And they're saying that most people are going to get it anyways. Literally, I, mean, I feel like they just sick. renamed the cold. Like, they renamed the flu because colds were already coronaviruses anyways. Yeah, but it and didn't affect humans. It only affected animals, I believe. No, the cold, the common cold was like a part of, an, uh, was a... Oh, the corona was a family cro or was a, Yeah. I read that too. It's part yeah, of the corona family. Like okay. So like, yeah, like if you look at uh, I, I don't I don't remember if it was the antibacterial sprays or like the masks, but it would say it like that it it, it uh, destroys it. yeah that it kills okay. novel coronaviruses or coronavirus like some shit like that. It was seen it like before even the pandemic had. Well, came I mean, out. there's a I think it's Euro somewhere in Europe where the uh, they're just gonna treat COVID like a fucking yeah, cold, the UK, like, which is right. Like, think yeah. about it. Like, people well, die off the regular flu that's around already. Right now. Yeah, everything going around. Like, they had the the what is it? The spine flu or the spine oh, that flu and all that. Shit, yeah. like, they like, had all these flus. Now it's we've called dealt with it a long time. Different dosages, and I my my against against is why do you have to get so much of a dosage in you if they're gonna make you get three different shots to get the booster and all this it's like wouldn't the first shot the first time be alright and that's yeah, it you don't take three shots for chicken pox you know what yeah. I mean? yeah. Why the yeah so or like in the household you if you have a, a weak immune system you're getting sick and my other sibling in your house might not get sick cause his, his shit's strong you know yep yep it's, it's, it's just a common though I think it's just a common cold and it's just maybe never be no cure we don't know it depends what they want to bring out next what they want to say yeah uh, what they want to say is good yeah. for us next shit i feel like i wasn't anti-vax and i really yeah. wasn't like i'd be like okay when it, there's enough studies and shit like i'll yeah, take that yeah. shit but the fact that they were really trying to press people for it like yeah yeah that's, we'll, that's give, you we'll give you money we'll give you money we'll give you food like you'll that. enter a lottery like yeah. that's fucking like why like why do you want me to take it so bad like that you're giving me something for it you know once you exactly. advertisement on billboards too it's like, like they just want you to get it yeah, yeah. it's a trip but shout yeah. out to everybody that got vaccinated man we're no disrespect here in slide the podcast yes it's your it's body choice. your choice it's your own exactly choice, yeah. whatever happened to my body my choice <laughs> 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 Oh, uh, that's crazy, man. So let's wrap it up. You guys want to give in your plugins one more time? You can follow me on Instagram, official Danny Cash. You can find me all streaming sites, all digital platforms, official Danny Cash, Danny Cash. Um, you can find me um, on Snapchat, official Danny Cash. And uh, that's pretty much it. You can... Yeah. 
Uh, Sabretooth, S-A-B-E-R-T-0-0-F. Google that, and you'll see all, all my shit on there. You'll see all this shit <laughs> on there. So yeah, man. So we appreciate you guys coming, man. Yeah, appreciate it was dope having, having you guys here, Thank man. You so it was much. a cool vibe. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, we like we winged it, but it came out dope. I like how it went, man. So uh, thank you everybody that listening. My name is Ricky LLC, your host for the night. You guys can find me on Instagram under that. If you guys need some motivation, some inspiration, be sure yeah. to tap in. Yeah, <laughs> slide through. <laughs> Hey, Kat, can you tell the people where they can get their Slide Through Podcast merch? Absolutely. So y'all going to go over to the Slide Through Podcast IG. Click on that conglomerate by the C.com link. Go on to the left side, that sandwich bar. Click on that. Click on the Slide Through Podcast clothing. And then you're going to scroll down to that image where you see the Slide Through Podcast crew neck. Click on that. And there you go. You see the size is small through 2X. Thank y'all for the support.